Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve the first problem of this little contest. Check if number as equal digit count and digit value. You are given zero index string num of length and consisting of digits. Written true if for every index i in the range zero to n the digit i occur num i times in num. Otherwise written false. So here basically we have to check the count of each i is equal to num i or not. So let us try to understand this problem more clearly. So here. Uh, num is given, so we have to put in this array. It's mentioning index. So here we can see that for index zero, its count is given one. For index one, its count is given two. For index two, its count is given one. For index three, its count is given zero. So basically, we have to check that the index here, index this section count its count we have to check. So for first, we have to check zero is occur one time or not. So in num, we can clearly see that. Zero occur one time, so this case is passed. For one, we have to check that it is occur two time or not. So here, one occur two time. So this case is also passed. For index two, we have to check. For index two, we have to check two occur one time or not. So here in num two occur one time. So this case is also passed. For index three, we have to check. Three occur zero time or not. So here in num we have clearly see that three is not occur in num. So this case is also passed. Here we can see that all test case is passed. So we basically return true. Otherwise we return false. So I hope you understand well. So now let us come to our question and try to code here. We have to check for the uh, storing the count of each digit. We use an ordered map, and uh, we have to take parameter int comma int. So int. So first int uh, store the key, and uh, second int store its count. So storing its count. now we traverse the whole array and check the condition that each for each index i we can uh, check that it's equal to count or not so int i equal to 0 to i less than num dot size i plus plus uh We have to check each character. So, if num of i is not equal to its count, so we return false. Otherwise. So now we check run the code. So here is given compiler done. So so it's still a mistake. Now we can check. So this test test is passed. Now we can check all the test cases. Now we can see that it is finished. So we need to submit it. So it is accepted. So if you like this video, please share with your friends. Thank you.